After his retirement from professional boxing, Gavin Rees invested his hard-earned money into a bar and a boxing gym in the local community in which he had grown up. When I retired out of plan, I bought this pub by you um, and it turned into a gym. So um, that was on my plan anyway. I was still boxing at the time. I had two fights after that. Then I think that helped me guide away from boxing a lot easier as well. And what do people say when they see a former world champion working behind a bar? A lot of kids come in, man, and with little nippers, and they obviously come in, like, you're only 10. They come back and they say, oh, I watched you on YouTube. I say, oh, you're great. I, said, I watched you fight Brona. I said, oh, great. <laughs> I only picked something else to watch, isn't it? But, you know, it's all good. And I say, they come in, they obviously, because they're only 10, they don't know my, my career, so ended when they, when they won. But then they go and look back, they all say that to me, but, you know, it's all good. But Gavin's main ambition, now that his own boxing career is over, is to train a new generation of boxers to follow in his footsteps. 30 carded amateurs, eight pros, I think, something like that. So I try to educate all the, all the boys in the gym, the amateurs, all the pros. And I try not to make the mistakes I used to make, you know. I wouldn't tell me lying you know, or like that, because I used to tell all them lies. So, you know, we try, not, we try to help them along life, guide them through and uh, to be very successful, you know. You've got to be disciplined, you've got to be on your weight, we're training hard, you know, they're all the things you need. And the ones who end up are not going to be successful. Same, it's exactly the same as the pros, really. It's just you've got to lead all the way through. You've got to live a good, hard, disciplined life. It's very hard, man. You grew up for, um, when you were an amateur, when you are a kid. You miss a lot of parties, weddings, you go with adult age. You miss everything, birthdays. But if you want to be successful, you've got to do it. But um, you win some, you lose some amateur boxing. It's a hard sport. You see, when you've got little kids, I guess you've been with a year or two, 10, 11, and they start crying. It's hard. It pulls on your heartstrings. But, um, I mean, when I used to be in Ireland crying, when I would lose, you know, I didn't lose many, but uh, it's not a very nice sport. It's a, it's a two-horse race, and one's got to cry, and one's got to smile. And that's just the way it is. Well, Gavin's been there, he's done it, he's been world champion, he speaks for himself in it, so his knowledge of it is unbelievable. He's shown me things I've, I've never seen before, so it can only get better. Oh, 10 out of 10, he's a, he's a good guy, you know. Um, not just by uh, training, personality-wise, brilliant. He is a good guy, um, helps all the boys in the gym. And every day he's on to us, texting us, messaging us, and just make, make sure when we're not in the gym, we're doing the work, you know. He's a good guy. Gavin Reese, you know, former world champion, no doubt he's the best trainer in the UK. But, you know, the knowledge that man possesses is unreal. I mean, he, he spots little things that you, you, you wouldn't even think of looking at. But, uh, I, when I go around the circuit, there's a couple of trainers around there, like Guy Butcher, Mary, man, Chief Jeffries, all nearly eight years of age, 80 odd. And I can guarantee I will be one of them in uh, 40 years' time. I will still be on, if I'm alive, I will still be on the circuit doing the same as he do. Because what some people like myself, uh, when you're in the sport, it's in your blood and you'll never walk away. Without, right now, I couldn't imagine my life if I wasn't still involved in boxing. And I know I'll be like one of them men, one day, walking around still on the amateur shows, doing what I do. Never look back at regrets. I've done well. One of my most belts I ever uh, fought for. I got five beautiful daughters now married and I do well in the gym. So was it a regret? It could be a lot worse. A lot of other boxers leave the sport with absolutely nothing. I'm doing very well for myself. So 